What's going on, guys? And welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. A game I've been looking forward to for some time now because the inner child in me is ready to cast spells, explore the universe, and I cannot be more excited. <laughs> we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth-year student. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Well, I officially got my letter to go to school. I can't wait. So, we're jumping in straight into the character creation. So we have a bunch of presets here we can choose from. Uh, so you can, in case you're not a big, per, big, big fan of setting up your character and all this kind of stuff. So I want to dig in because I'm looking forward to this ride. So uh, let's kind of just dig around with our faces here. But let's kind of go with the, this face. And I feel like we, we've got to wear glasses, I think. I feel like wearing glasses is, is kind of important when it comes to school. Do we go with the round ones? I think we go with the round ones. Why not? I wear glasses in IRL. The hairstyles already look great. Like, just how well they've been made and done. I don't know if we just go for, like, a clean, clean kind of cut. That's a bit too high on top for me. Um, I feel like just the, the simple comb-over might do, you know? Just like this. Standard comb-over. There's no other options on here. And let's... Can we change the colour of this? Maybe a bit more... Go with brown. Yeah, like a dark brown. Then we've got scars, we've got some complexions. So let's have a bit of rosy cheeks in there. We can have some like blemishes and all that good stuff. Let's kind of go with a... So let's just throw a bit of colour in there. Not too much colour on look like I'm going to, you know, anime, but let's take some of these freckles off his face. And we just go clean. I don't like how every time I move the camera like this, He's staring at us, like straight into my eyes. Oh, but we can do a score as well. I don't want I don't want like something crazy, like I'm rotting, you know. But maybe something subtle. Can't really see that because it's behind the glasses, but what about the eye the eye, you know? But I think I'm good with that. Voice one. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Okay. We got voice two. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Okay. So we can have a male or female. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned <laughs> a few, about. A few cobwebs and some dust. We can change the pitch. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I be I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. I feel like it I want to stick with the norm. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Because I feel like it's one voice. But then if you listen, if you listen carefully to the others. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. It seems like it's, to be concerned about. it's one voice just with an AI kind of tone. It's, it's a bit robotic for me. Uh, we're going to go on normal and we get to select our character name. Ooh. Bits. Spoon. <laughs> That's going to be us. And if this video gets 75 likes. No. Let's make it 69. To make it 69 likes, I will throw out another video within the next 24 hours. So without further ado, let's jump into Hogwarts Legacy. Oh. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar. 
Eleazar, okay. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Ooh. I think the courage has got them horse. Yeah, it does. The horses that you can only see when the uh, when you've seen death. It begins. Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Oh, Rangot. Run I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Ooh. We're already seeing suspicious things. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We do Ooh.
What a way. Did you notice? Because they saw that guy die, they managed to saw the... They, they saw... The, then the, the, the horses kind of appeared. Because they saw death. Right? <laughs> bit, sp hurt. bit spoon. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay, we're in. Okay, so there's a portion mechanic. Okay. You can see our health down the bottom. I'm what taking all these notes in. Oh, George. I can't believe he... It's already what kicked, the hell it's already kicked off. Damn thing. Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Yep. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Oh, we know why? what port keys do. Oh, we're in. We're in. And I'm not gonna lie, it's... It looks good. It's looking good. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins... Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. So, what I was saying is the fit. Oh, we can run around now. Mind your step. The facial animations and stuff are actually pretty good. Where do you suppose They're not your wife too got realistic. It's got. The, the they found that good balance. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Follow Professor ancient Fig. Magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Can we but break sir, these? Why was your nope. wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Whoa. What is this? Is that eyes? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay, basic cast. Excellent! I just cast a spell. I just cast a spell. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick. Ooh, by disabling camera related targeting in settings. Okay, yeah, that's such a bit no no. Wait. Oh. So we just look at it and then. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one was improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Nice. 
We've only got the one spell, so we're going to have like one standard spell, which will do just constant damage over time and blah, 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 kind of like you normally would. And then we'll probably have like uh, your other spells. I do believe, I do believe the um, ah, forbidden ones have been in the game as well, uh, which we can unlock and get um, just for mechanical and gameplay sake. They've added them. We're close now. It's just ahead. Okay. Oh, the audio is really good. Like really good. Steady yourself. Repair. That's cool. Almost there. And what is this place though? So this is where the port key was meant to take us. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. The minimap shows your surroundings with you uh, in the middle, but then the current objective. Press up to toggle quest objective details. Okay. Bing. Okay, so it just tells us uh, basically what it is. Okay, good to know. And I can deactivate that. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. So there's definitely going to be a lot of puzzles. There's going to be a lot of puzzles. There's going to be a lot of little things to check out. I, I understand the world is absolutely massive. Professor. This statue. This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. Oh. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. What is that? Is that Gringotts? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. I keep trying to just use a spell to open it. Name. Oh, Godric's heart. Wake the goblin. Where are we? Whoa! I don't believe it. Is this Gringotts? The bank. Hello. Password. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where have we been here? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Huh? Precisely. The key 
Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. I'm just kind of mind blown at this. I've not even got into the world yet, and I'm like so excited. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> oh, we're actually get to ride it. Oh. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. How oh, terrifying would that be? Waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Uh, key, please. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous Ooh. day. <laughs> that guy's armband. It's the same way. as what the dragon had. Glowing. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. <laughs> like the glow you saw on the pork container. No, darker. I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. <laughs> yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He I... watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I just said that. I literally just said that. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Hmm. Question is, is what's what's in here? You know, what's hiding away? Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Bye. Best of luck. <laughs> Best of luck. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, steady your wand with the L stick and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the system path. Okay. 
Interesting. This is cool. Is that how we're going to learn spells? Is unlocking them via that? Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. It was a door. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. Yeah. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. Maximus. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Revelio, to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Disapparating. God, we don't know what, what we're walking into right now. I'm just expecting, like, a big spider to come out of the darkness, you know? I apologize for those that I have... I see something oh. up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Yeah, let's just go over and touch it. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You this? seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Mm -hmm. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay. Another spell. You required a one lightning uh, lighting charm, Lumos, which is automatically being slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your excuse me, to be your one to help you see in dark areas. Lumos. Well done. Okay, so we're just... reflection is turning towards me. We're just going to match it, it up. Follow the light. There we go. Hello. Uh-oh. No warning. Review your objectives to reveal a way forward. Okay, so I'm just going to protect.
I didn't know if I was constantly attacking him there or it, there was an object. Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? I love how it just says bit this spoon at the bottom. Good. Lumos. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, What's happening? The I don't know. of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Down here? Oh, it's another. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Wait, I've got a reveal or one. Yeah, I've got a reveal or. My own this time. Oh, there's multiple ones. Lumos. So that's one. Ah, wait. Got to find where they all meet. I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Hold a uh, triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Done. Lumos. Okay, let's follow the wisps again. So I'm guessing this is like the whole tutorial kind of bit. Oh, we can sprint as well. Yo, we got some speed. Whoa. Weird breathing. Where's Fig? Oh, there he is. I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder what memories in it. to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Hmm. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? Oh. I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my <laughs> reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh. Whoa. Jesus. Oh. That was like an Elden Ring boss. Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. The music is so good. Oh.
Well, I'm not going to lie, that was a that was a little fun. Does that mean we're finally going to school? Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more <laughs> appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I think that's Sean Penn who plays the headmaster. I think. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Let's go with his court. <laughs> Physics. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. There you go. His court's fixed now. It's because he tried squeezing through the door. It just uplifted, you know. The food hall. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Oh! Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Obviously, she's a Weasley, but I'm wondering what relation she is. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start class. I can't wait. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Hmm. During curiosity, loyalty, or ambition. I'm during. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Oh, oh, so we get to choose. Okay. So I'm just debating because, from what I understand, each house has some unique side quests and some unique stuff to them houses. Obviously, you've got the common common rooms and all that kind of stuff, but also side missions. Um, and I don't know if I'm... Obviously, I might do another playthrough at some point and be a different house and just experience what they have different, you know? Like going into Slytherin or something. But I think I've got to go with Gryffindor. I'm happy with Gryffindor. Most people are going to go with Gryffindor. And then Slytherin. And then probably Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. Better possibly. be Gryffindor! Yeah. Gryffindor! Oh. 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. I heard about this. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, I heard about there's no Quidditch in the game. Uh, maybe it'll come in the Quite future. Who knows? Entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. All that food, Jesus. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? <laughs> Spoon! The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. <laughs> Domum. <laughs> you may enter. <laughs> Grata Domum, and then he goes, Grata Domum. It sounds so northern. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. That's a crouch through that little tunnel thing. Right? To get to the common room. Oh, look how good that looks. So there is a whole seasons to this as well. And it advances within our academic year gone. and with a campaign. And the common room. So the way it works is uh, you have your main story campaign, and that's when the seasons kind of come with that. Um, but if we do go into winter, for example, or autumn, uh, the side quest that we had in summer won't be there anymore. So uh, we do have to level up. We have to do side quests. We're going to have to do all that kind of stuff because it is a level-based system. Uh, and obviously we need to rank up to get into more higher level areas. But I think we're going to call this one for the first video. And let me know. Like I said, 69 likes. And I'll pull out a second one very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy your Hogwarts experience if you're playing it. And uh, if not, hopefully I've tempted you to play it or even purchase it. And uh, if not, wait to the second one in case you want to know more. So check out my other content right here and I'll see you in another video. So keep smiling and I'll see you then.